Hi, welcome to Excelay. Today we will discuss about the current affairs from 11 December to 20 December. Our month may three partly current affairs is channel may upload hota hai. Jiske ek part may 10 days ka current affairs rehta hai. Ye partly current affairs aapko current affairs ka preparation may bohuti help karega. Chaliye aaj ka session suru karte hai. First question is who has been honored with the 33rd best samman recently hali me 33rd best samman se kisko sammanit kiya gaya hai correct answer is pushpa bhatti pushpa bhatti has been honored with the 33rd best samman 2023 recently she will be awarded for her memoir yade yade aur yade dr gyan chaturvedi was awarded the 32nd best samman for his nobel Pagal Khane. Next question is Which of the following organization has launched the UBI initiative recently? UBI initiative, Konsi organization Kidora launched the idea. Correct answer is Intel India, National e Governance Division, and Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So, option B is correct. That is all of the above. These three organizations have launched the UVI initiative recently. UVI ka full form hai Youth for Growth and Vikas with AI, that is Artificial Intelligence. This ka full form exam ke liye bohut hi important ho. Next question is What is the rank of India in Climate Change Performance Index 2023? Climate Change Performance Index 2023 mein India ka rank kya hai? Correct answer is 7. India ranked 7 in Climate Change Performance Index 2023. This index is issued by German Watch. Aap comment mein bataiye, top position par kis country hai? Iska answer dekhi, ab jarur surprise ho jaoge. Next question is, who has captured the first ever full disk image of sun recently? Correct answer is Aditya L1. India's first solar mission Aditya L1 mission has captured the first ever full disk image of the sun recently. Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, that is SWEET, a payload of Aditya L1 has taken a full disk image of the sun. Total 11 different colored pictures of the sun have been published by ISO. Every pictures are of 200 to 400 nanometer wavelength. Aditya L1 mission ki baare mein ek alag video is channel par available hai. Ab dek sakte hai link description mein hai. Next question is, which organization has formulated the world fast comprehensive AI rules recently? World fast comprehensive AI rules, kaun si organization ke dara formulate kiya gaya hai? Correct answer is, European Union. European Union has recently formulated the world fast comprehensive AI rules recently. Next question is, Mera Gaon, Mera Dharohar project has been launched by which ministry? Mera Gaon, Mera Dharohar project, Konsu ministry ke dwara launch kya gya hai? Correct answer is Ministry of Culture. Ministry of Culture has launched Mera Gaon, Meri Dharohar project recently. Under this project, the government of India has decided to prepare mapping and documentation of all villages of India. Next question is, which organization has launched the initiative Early Warning for All? Early Warning for All initiative, kaun si organization ke dwara launch kiya gaya hai? Correct answer is WMO and UNDRR. That is World Meteorological Organization and United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction. World Meteorological Organization along with UNDRR has launched the initiative Early warnings for all. This initiative aimed at providing life saving early warning systems to protect everyone on earth from hazardous weather, water, or climate events by the end of 2027. Next question is Who has been appointed as the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh recently? Madhya Pradesh ka Chief Minister ke roop mein kis ko appoint kiya gaya hai? Correct answer is Mohan Yadav. Mohan Yadav has been appointed as the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh recently. Madhya Pradesh ka governor hai Mangu Bhai Patel. 
मध्य प्रदेश का नया डिप्यूटी सीएम बने हैं राजेंद्र शुक्ला एंड जगदीश देवरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच कंट्री हैज लॉन्च द डोडो डी एक्सटिंक्शन प्रोजेक्ट डोडो डी एक्सटिंक्शन प्रोजेक्ट कौन से कंट्री के द्वारा लॉन्च किया गया है करेक्ट आंसर इज मोरिसस मोरिसस हैज लॉन्च द डोडो डी एक्सटिंक्शन प्रोजेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हु हैज लॉन्च द डेवलपमेंट इंडिया एट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन वॉइस ऑफ यूथ पोर्टल रिसेंटली डेवलपमेंट इंडिया एट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन वॉइस ऑफ यूथ पोर्टल किसने लॉन्च किया है करेक्ट आंसर इज नरेंद्र मोदी Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched the Development India at 2047 Voice of Youth portal recently. Its aim is to actively involve the youth in the formulation of national plans, priorities, and goals of the country. Next question is: In which city has the Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the first Indian Art Architecture and Design Biennial 2023? Correct answer is New Delhi. In New Delhi, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the first Indian Art Architecture and Design Biennale 2023. Next question is: Donald Tusk has been elected as the Prime Minister of which country? Which country ka Prime Minister ke roop mein Donald Tusk ko elect kiya gaya hai? Correct answer is Poland. Donald Tusk has been elected as the Prime Minister of Poland. Next question is. Which country has launched the submarine Emperor Alexander III? Submarine Emperor Alexander III, कौन से country के द्वारा launch किया गया है? Correct answer is Russia. Russia has launched the submarine Emperor Alexander III. Next question is, who has been appointed as the Chief Minister of Rajasthan recently? हाल ही में Rajasthan का Chief Minister के रूप में किसको appoint किया गया है? Correct answer is Bhajan Lal Sharma. Bhajan Lal Sharma has been appointed as the Chief Minister of Rajasthan recently. Rajasthan ka governor hai Kalraj Mishra and Rajasthan ka deputy chief minister bane hain Diya Kumari and Premchand Vaira. Next question is where has the fourth Winback 2023 exercise been organized recently? Hali mein fourth Winback 2023 exercise kahan par organized kiya gaya hai? Correct answer is Hanoi. The fourth Winback 2023 exercise has been organized in Hanoi, Vietnam. Winback exercise is held between India and Vietnam. Next question is, which organization has launched Operation Storm Maker 2 recently? Hali mein Operation Storm Maker 2 kaun si organization ke dwara launch kiya gaya hai? Correct answer is Interpol. Interpol has launched Operation Storm Maker 2 recently. This mission has exposed a growing trend where human trafficking victims are forced to commit cyber fraud. Next question is Bunny Grassland is found in which state? Bunny Grassland kaun se state mein paya jata hai? Correct answer is Gujarat. Bunny Grassland is found in Gujarat. Recently The central government has approved a proposal to establish a cheetah conservation breeding center in Bunny Grassland in Kutch district of Gujarat. Next question is who will be awarded the Padma Pani Lifetime Achievement Award? Padma Pani Lifetime Achievement Award se kisko sammanit kiya jayega? Correct answer is Javed Akhtar. Javed Akhtar will be awarded the Padma Pani Lifetime Achievement Award. Next question is where is the Padma Janaidu Himalayan Geological Park located? Padma Janaidu Himalayan Geological Park kaha par located hai? Correct answer is West Bengal. Padma Janaidu Himalayan Geological Park is located in West Bengal. Ye news mein kyu hai? Kyunki two endangered Siberian tigers named Lara and Akamas have been brought at Padma Janaidu Himalayan Geological Park in Darjeeling West Bengal. After 12 years. Next question is: Where has the Global River Cities Alliance been launched recently? Global River Cities Alliance कहाँ पर लॉन्च किया गया है? Correct answer is Dubai. The Global River Cities Alliance has been launched in Dubai recently. This alliance, led by the National Mission for Clean Ganga, has been launched at COP28 in Dubai. 
Next question is, who has been honored with the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic recently? Order of Merit of the Italian Republic se is to sammanit kya diya hai? Karikram sir is Kabir Bedi. The actor Kabir Bedi has been honored with the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic recently. Next question is, which bank has launched the Nari Shakti Savings Account? Nari Shakti Savings Account, kaun se bank te dora launch kya diya hai? Correct answer is Bank of India. Bank of India has launched the Nari Shakti Savings Account. Next question is Which institute has developed Amrit Technology? Correct answer is IIT Madras. IIT Madras has developed Amrit Technology. This technology has developed to remove arsenic and metal ions from water. Next question is who has been awarded the National Tansen Samman for 2022 recently? Hali mein, National Tansen Samman for 2022 se, isko sammanit kya gya hai? Correct answer is, Pandit Ganpati Bhat. Pandit Ganpati Bhat has been awarded the National Tansen Samman for 2022. Next question is, recently the New Delhi Declaration has been adopted at which summit? Hali mein, New Delhi Declaration ko kaun si summit mein adopt kya gya hai? Correct answer is GPAI summit. Recently, New Delhi Declaration has been adopted at the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence Summit. Next question is, which Indian scientist has been awarded the Karambir Chakra Medal and Rex Karambir Global Fellowship recently? Correct answer is Himchandra Ravi Kumar. Himchandra Ravi Kumar has been awarded the Karambir Chakra Medal and Rex Karambir Global Fellowship recently. Next question is, which scheme has been recently launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to empower women self help group? Women self help group to empower Karni ke liye, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ke dwara kaun se scheme launch kya gya hai? Correct answer is Namo Drone Didi scheme. Namo Drone Didi scheme has been launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to empower women self help groups. Under this scheme, 15,000 Namo Drone Didis will be trained to make farming easier through drones. Next question is, which country's NGO has been honored with the International Gender Equality Award 2023? Correct answer is Afghanistan. An NGO of Afghanistan has been honored with the International Gender Equality Award 2023. Next question is, which African country has been officially terminated from the United Nations peacekeeping mission? Correct answer is Mali. The African country Mali has been officially terminated from the United Nations peacekeeping mission. Next question is, which country has unveiled the world's first fourth generation nuclear reactor? World first fourth generation nuclear reactor to kaun si country ke dwara unveil kya gaya hai? Correct answer is China. China has unveiled the world first fourth generation nuclear reactor. Next question is, where has the world deepest underground laboratory been built? World deepest underground laboratory, kaha par bil kya gya hai? Correct answer is, China. The world deepest underground laboratory has been built in China. The depth of this laboratory is 1.5 miles and the laboratory has been created to study the dark matter. Next question is, which country has become the world largest opium producing country? World largest opium producing country, kaun si country bani ho? Correct answer is Myanmar. Myanmar overtaken Afghanistan to become the world largest opium producing country in the world. Next question is, where will the United Nations Climate Change Conference 2024, that is COP29 be held? United Nations Climate Change Conference 2024, that is COP29, kaha par kya Correct answer is Baku, Azerbaijan. Hali mein COP28 conference Dubai UAE mein aayajik ho chuka hai. Aagle saal COP29 conference Baku, Azerbaijan mein aayajik kya jayega. Next question is, whose statue has been unveiled in Jaipur Wax Museum recently? Hali mein Jaipur Wax Museum mein Iska statue unveiled kya gaya hai? Correct answer is Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. 
द स्टैचू ऑफ डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर हैजील इन जयपुर वेस्ट म्यूजियम रिसेंटली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिसेंटली बी सी सी आई हैज रिकमेंडेड द नेम ऑफ विच क्रिकेटर फॉर ओरिजिनल अवार्ड अर्जुना अवार्ड के लिए बी सी सी आई ने किस क्रिकेटर का नाम रिकॉमेंड किया है करेक्ट आंसर इज मोहम्मद शामी बी सी सी आई हैज रिकमेंडेड द नेम ऑफ मोहम्मद शामी फॉर ओरिजिनल अवार्ड मोहम्मद शामी इज द हाइस्ट विकेट टेकर इन ओडीआई क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप एमाउंस इंडियन बोलर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज In which country has a statue dedicated to Thiru Valluvar been unveiled? Correct answer is France. In France, a statue dedicated to Thiru Valluvar has been unveiled. Thiru Valluvar was a famous Tamilian poet and philosopher. Next question is, which state has got the GI tag for Lakadang Tarmeric? Lakadang Tarmeric के लिए कौन से state को GI tag मिला है? Correct answer is Meghalaya. Meghalaya has got the GI tag for Lakadang turmeric. It is mainly grown in Lakadang area of Jayantia Hill of Meghalaya. Next question is which country has topped in the startup funding global ranking 2023? Startup funding global ranking 2023 mein top position par kaun se country hai? Correct answer is USA. United States of America has topped in the startup funding global ranking 2023. India ranked fourth in this ranking. Next question is when is International Mountain Day celebrated? International Mountain Day kab manaya jata hai? Correct answer is 11th December. 11th December International Mountain Day ke roop mein manaya jata hai. 2023 ka theme hai Restoring Mountain Ecosystems. Next question is who has been honored with the Diwali stamp The power of one award in 2023. Diwali stamp the power of one award 2023. से किसको सम्मानित किया गया है? Correct answer is Ban Ki Moon. Ban Ki Moon has been honored with the Diwali stamp the power of one award in 2023. He was the Secretary General of the United Nations. This award is known as Oscar of Diplomacy. Next question is the Supreme Court appealed the decision. to abrogate article 370 of the constitution when did the president remove this article correct answer is 5th august 2019 the president of india removed this article on 5th august 2019 and this decision recently appealed by the supreme court of india next question is who has been appointed as youth voter awareness ambassador for jammu and kashmir जम्मू कश्मीर के लिए यूथ वोटर अवेयरनेस एम्बेसडर के रूप में किसको अपॉइंट किया गया है कार्यक्रम सरीज सुरेश रायना द फॉर्मर इंडियन क्रिकेटर सुरेश रायना हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द यूथ वोटर अवेयरनेस एम्बेसडर फॉर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर व्हिच व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज इंडिया लॉन्च द ग्रीन राइजिंग इनिशिएटिव एट कॉप 28 इन दुबई कार्यक्रम सरीज यूनिसेफ इंडिया अलोंग विद यूनिसेफ has launched the green rising initiative at the cop 28 in dubai next question is in which district of uttar pradesh will the british company invest rupees 75000 crore in the defense sector correct answer is ayodhya in ayodhya of uttar pradesh the british company will invest rupees 75000 crore in defense sector british company trafalgar square capital will set up defense manufacturing units in ayodhya uttar pradesh Next question is who has been selected as the ICC players of the month 2023 for November month November month ke liye ICC player of the month award kisko diya gaya hai correct answer is Nahida Akhtar and Travis Head so option C is correct both A and B the Australian batter Travis Head and the bowler of Bangladesh women team Nahida Akhtar both have been selected as the ICC player of the month 2023 for november month next question is who has released the book new india saints based on prime minister narendra modi correct answer is ramnath kovind former president of india ramnath kovind has released the book new india saints based on prime minister narendra modi next question is who has inaugurated the uttarakhand global investor summit 
उत्तराखंड ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर समिट 2023 किसके द्वारा इनोग्रेट किया गया है करेक्ट आंसर इज नरेंद्र मोदी प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज इनोग्रेटेड द उत्तराखंड ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर समिट 2023 दिस समिट का थीम है पीस टू प्रोस्पेरिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच एयरपोर्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश विल बी डेवलप्ड एज द सेकंड प्राइवेट एयरपोर्ट करेक्ट आंसर इज लाल बहादुर शास्त्री एयरपोर्ट Lal Bahadur Shastri Airport of Uttar Pradesh will be developed as the second private airport. Next question is with which organization India signed a 200 million dollar loan for Uttarakhand climate resilient power system development project? Correct answer is Asian Development Bank. India signed with Asian Development Bank a 200 million dollar loan for Uttarakhand climate resilient power system development project. एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक का एस्टेब्लिशमेंट 1966 में हुआ इसका हेडक्वार्टर मैनीला फिलीपाइंस में है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन व्हिच स्टेट विल द समक्का सरकार सेंट्रल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी बी एस्टेब्लिश समक्का सरकार सेंट्रल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी कौन से स्टेट में एस्टेब्लिश किया जाएगा करेक्ट आंसर इज तेलंगाना द समक्का सरकार सेंट्रल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी विल बी एस्टेब्लिश इन तेलंगाना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Which city has topped in the Mercer's Quality Living Index 2023 amongst Indian cities? Correct answer is Hyderabad. Hyderabad city has topped in the Mercer's Quality of Living Index 2023 amongst Indian cities. Next question is, where was the Guinness World Record of largest reading theatre? Correct answer is SP College, Pune. The Guinness World Record of largest reading was created in. SP College Pune Next question is who has been awarded the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace 2023 recently Hal hi mein Indira Gandhi Peace Prize 2023 kisko diya gaya hai Correct answer is Daniel Berenboi and Ali Abu Awar So option C is correct both A and B Daniel Berenboi and Ali Abu Awar have been awarded the Indira Gandhi Peace Prize for 2023 recently Next question is who has been honored with the P Govinda Pillai Memorial National Award 2023 P Govinda Pillai Memorial National Award 2023 se kisko sammanit kiya gaya hai Correct answer is Arundhati Roy Arundhati Roy has been honored with the P Govinda Pillai Memorial National Award 2023 Next question is who has inaugurated the Asian India Millet Festival recently एशियन इंडिया मिलेट फेस्टिवल किसके द्वारा इनोग्रेट किया गया है करेक्ट आंसर इज अर्जुन मुंडा द इंडियन मिनिस्टर अर्जुन मुंडा हैज इनोग्रेटेड द एशियन इंडिया मिलेट फेस्टिवल रिसेंटली यूनाइटेड नेशंस डिक्लेयर 2023 एज इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ मिलेट्स इंडिया इज द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ मिलेट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ग्लोबल स्टेटस रिपोर्ट ऑन रोड सेफ्टी 2023 इज रिलीज बाय व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्लोबल स्टेटस रिपोर्ट ऑन रोल सेफ्टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के द्वारा रिलीज किया गया है करेक्ट आंसर इज वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज हू ग्लोबल स्टेटस रिपोर्ट ऑन रोल सेफ्टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इज रिलीज बाय वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द इंडिया फास्टेस्ट सोलर इलेक्ट्रिक बोर्ड लॉन्च रिसेंटली हाल ही में इंडिया फास्टेस्ट सोलर इलेक्ट्रिक बोर्ड लॉन्च किया गया है इसका नाम क्या है Correct answer is Barakuda. Barakuda is the name of the India's fastest solar electric boat launched recently. Next question is, what is the objective of Chandrayaan-4 mission? Chandrayaan-4 mission ka objective kya hai? Correct answer is to bring back samples from the moon. The aim of the Chandrayaan-4 mission is to bring back samples from the moon. The Indian Space Research Organization, that is ISRO. has planned to launch chandrayaan 4 to bring back samples from the moon in 4 years next question is who has won miss india usa 2023 title recently hali mein miss india usa 2023 ka khitab kisne jeeti hai correct answer is rizul maini rizul maini has won miss india usa 2023 title recently and shanit telasio of nicaragua has won the miss universe 2023 title next question is which state has dropped in the medal tally of the first hello india paragon 
फर्स्ट खेलो इंडिया पैरा गेम्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री का मेडिन फैनी में कौन से स्टेट टॉप पोजिशन पर है करेक्ट आंसर इज हरियाणा हरियाणा हैज टॉप इन द मिडिल टैली ऑफ द फर्स्ट खेलो इंडिया पैरा गेम्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इट वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली एंड मैस्कॉट ऑफ द खेलो इंडिया पैरा गेम्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इज उज्ज्वला हरियाणा रैंक फर्स्ट विथ फोर्टी गोल्ड मेडल्स एंड वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव टोटल नंबर ऑफ मेडल्स एंड उत्तर प्रदेश रैंक सेकेंड विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव गोल्ड मेडल्स एंड सिक्सटी टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ मेडल्स एंड तमिलनाडु रैंक थर्ड विथ ट्वेंटी गोल्ड मेडल्स and total number of medals is 42 these are the middle 10 days partly current affairs of the december 2023 video helpful laga to like and comment kijiye jo channel mein naya hai wo subscribe kijiye taki current affairs ka updated video aapko milte rahe current affairs ka aur bhi important topic is channel par hai aap dekh sakte hain link description mein hai thank you for watching please subscribe the channel for more videos